Hello everyone and welcome back. So today we are going to be building interesting app and the app name is going to be Imtex. What is Imtex? Imtex is app that will be get words in image. So let me show you here. In here we have the upload image and if I click here we have uh, two screenshot with the article inside in here. I'm going to click the article one and here we have the preview and then we get the text here. This app basically will be convert this image with text here into just text right here. Okay, so let me select another screenshot, just article 2, as you can see here. This it's also important. And let's see here. We have the text. Pretty cool. And we're gonna use the package, and the package name is gonna be Tezrak. I don't know how to pronounce that, but I think this is Tezrak.js. All right. In here, I have already generated create rack app, and I have already removed a couple file. And now we have just index and app. All right. So first, let's remove this hello world and change that to index. And down here, we have a p tag, and let's say get words in image. All right. And down here we have a div with class name let's say input wrapper and inside this input wrapper we have a level and let's say upload here and uh, text let's say upload image okay this will be uh, the button uh, like this one here all right and down here we have the input field so input the type is gonna be let's say file and we have the ID here the ID should be same with this HTML4 tag here which is upload okay so let's say upload if we have same name the HTML4 and the ID if I click the label here it's gonna be trigger this input here we have ID and also the accept I want to just grab the image with any extension I don't want the music or video something like that I just want to image okay after we create this input wrapper we need to create another div down here let's say result and I'm going to create state up here let's say cons let's give a name selected image and set selected image so that equals to use state by default let's say no and inside this result i'm going to if we have the selected image i want to render the div in here let's give a class box dash image and inside this box image i'm going to uh, create image tag and the source is going to be the selected image and the alt let's say thumbnail so now let's take a look into the browser this is what we have if i click choice file if i select article one nothing happened that's because in image here we don't have the on change so let's so let's add the on change set that equals to let's give a name handle change image which is the name of the function and let's create the function here which is cons handle change image set that equals to i'm gonna grab the event and then i'm going to console log to event.target.files and i'm going to grab the array zero so now let's save and let's take a look if i choice file article 2 now we have the data here okay that's what we want so now we need to send this data into this state which is selected image here so let's remove this console and i'm going to say set selected image okay if i save now if i fire this change here it's going to be put this data into this variable here and the image will be showing here okay so now let's choice file let's say article one and we have thumbnail here the image is not rendered so the problem is we need to use a url and dot create object url and we need to put the selected image inside the create object url function like so so now we have the image here let's select article 2 we have the data here okay 
All right, so pretty cool. We have the preview now. So next I'm going to create another state that will be render the text result. So here I'm going to create another state. Let's say cons uh, text, let's say text result and set text result set that equals to use state where default is going to be empty string and down here what i'm going to do is i'm going to say text result and if text result have a value we need to render a div here let's say div with the class box paragraph and inside this div i'm going to put paragraph tag and put the text result inside in here so let's say text result cool before i'm working with the functionality i'm going to styling this app a little bit so let's go to app.js app.css here and here i'm going to grab the body first and i'm going to change the font family into sans serif and the background i'm going to say carrot blue and also the app Let's say app here. I'm gonna set the maximal width into 950 pixel and also the margin, let's say zero auto to put that into the center. And also I'm gonna grab the H1, let's say app H1. I'm gonna change the font size to let's say 3 RAM and also I'm gonna give a margin top here. Let's say margin, let's say 4 RAM for the top 0, 0, 0 for the right bottom and the left okay so i'm gonna grab the p tag which is the paragraph here just get word image and in here i'm gonna change the color into let's say oh one uh one uh one uh and also the font size let's give a 1.5 ram so now save and let's take a look this is what we have let's make it smaller here we go cool and let's go back here so let's say input this wrapper and we need to set the position into relative let's say relative because you are going to set the input here to absolute and we need to hide this choice file to the upload image here we are going to set the z index to minus one in this button here okay so let me show you here Let's go back let's grab the input wrapper label and we need to set the display to inline block let's say inline block and we need to set the padding into 8 pixel top and bottom and 12 pixel left and right and also we need to set the cursor to pointer we need to set the border dash radius into 4 pixel and we need to set the background to coral and the text let's say uh, white okay let's say f f f okay if i save and let's take a look this is what we have okay so now we need to put this input here to the left so this chose file is going to be in this upload image so let's go here i'm going to grab the input wrapper and the input I'm going to grab the type to file, let's say here, okay, and let's say, I'm going to say position to uh, absolute, and let's say the left, I'm going to put a 26 pixel, and the top, I'm going to set to 6 pixel, okay, if I save this, and let's take a look, and also I'm going to set the Z index, z index to minus one so you don't see the button anymore now so let's change the font size into let's say 50 pixel and also change the color into one uh one uh, one uh. okay so now save and here we go cool so i think we're done with this uh, input wrapper now we need to styling the result so let's grab the image first here we go and we need to styling this we need to add the margin top and the width etc so let's go here so let's grab the result class here and i'm going to set the margin top to 4 ram 
and uh, display let's set that to grid and i'm going to put align this item to center and justify content to center okay and let's see this is what we have and i'm going to add lorem ipsum in here so let's see lorem we can see uh, let's do here lorem let's say 20 and i'm going to copy this and put inside in here okay so by default we have this text so now we can see here uh like so all right so now let's go back into app.css here and i'm going to styling the box image so let's say result uh, box test image and i'm gonna set the background to coral let's say the hake into 100 percent and also i'm gonna give a padding to one ram okay and also i'm gonna styling the text here okay let's say result uh, p box p i think box p and i'm gonna give a background to let's say ddd and also the hake i'm gonna set to 100 percent and also the padding let's say one ram here we go so we need to style in this image i think and increase this of one size so let's go here we need to say uh result and image and i'm gonna set the width to 100 percent and the height is 100 percent and object fit i'm gonna set to contain okay and also i'm gonna grab the uh, result paragraph and i'm gonna set the line height to 1.5 ram it's gonna be 5 <laughs> 5 ram and also i want to change the font size to say 1 ram okay if i save it's gonna be look like this all right so i'm going to add a media screen here because i want to if i open this into the browser i like to have two color okay so here i'm gonna say media let's say minimal width so that equals to say 1000 uh, pixel and what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna grab the result and i'm gonna set the grid template column into let's say one fraction one fraction it's just a column now we have to column here pretty cool if i open in a mobile it's gonna be look like this all right so now i think we're done with the styling and let's close this app.css and let's go back to app.js file and i'm gonna remove this lorem here and up here what i'm gonna do i want to create function that will be convert this selected image to text so first thing is we need to uh, install the package and the package name is going to be tesseract.js file so to install this package we can just uh where is that here we can just copy here you can use npm if you want i'm going to make it bigger here we go and i'm going to copy this one here and paste here and hit enter and wait for that and to use that is pretty simple basically uh where's that we can import a create worker from tesseract and we need to do a sync function we need to wait for the load load language initialize and recognize here we grab the data and then we grab the text okay so let's see how this is work okay it's done let's close this terminal and up here i'm going to import a create worker a create worker from tesseract.js and up here i'm gonna create a function call uh, i'm gonna give a name convert image to text okay and here so let's say wait oh yeah this is going to be a sync function and we need to initialize first the worker so let's say worker worker set so equals to create worker invoke the function 
and in here we need to wait for the worker dot load we need to load the worker and we need to wait for the worker dot uh, load language and i'm going to use the analyst let's say analyst and also i'm going to wait for the worker let's say worker dot uh, initialize and it's going to be analyst as well and also i'm going to grab the data restructuring the data and set it equals to i'm going to wait again for the worker dot recognize and i'm going to put the selected image here okay and after we get the data we need to uh first of all i'm going to console up the data so you can see and yeah let's save and oh as you can see this function is declared but never used okay so we need to create the use effect here so let's say use effect but from react and also we need to uh, run this use effect if the selected user selected image change the selected image here that's mean if i add a uh, image change the image etc the function here will be fire okay so inside the use effect i'm going to run the con convert uh, image to text i think this is typo it should be convert like so convert all right so now let's take a look here i'm going to open my console let's make it a little bit bigger let's say console here and if i upload image let's say it's article one we get the image preview and then hmm, we don't get any console here what a problem uh i think this is not selected image it's gonna be the selected image which is the file now save and let's do that again i'm going to refresh and let's grab the image article one here we go as you can see we have the text here with the open source is the back one which is the text okay pretty good now we can grab the data dot text all right so now we can do is we can say set text result to data dot text all right pretty cool so now let's go back to the browser and close this console and i'm going to make it 100 uh, percent and let's upload image which is article one and then after a couple second it's gonna be get the text pretty cool if i get the article 2 and then boom okay magic happened okay pretty cool so uh, i think we're done but as you can see in the console we have react hooks use effect has missing dependency uh if we need to add function to the use effect dependency which is the convert to image here say convert to image uh we need to use uh use callback right so let's do up here i'm gonna say cons convert image to text set that equals to it's going to be the use callback here use callback is going to come from react and then in here we can say a sync function and then we can do like so this is a function and then here the use callback have a dependency so in here we need to just copy this await here put it in here i need to remove this convert image to text function and in here we need to add the dependency dependency is going to be the worker and then the selected image so now if i save we have the error unexpected receive work await hmm what's wrong here so of course we need to add the function like so so now everything is clean as you can see down here pretty good and we need to add some condition here in convert image to text function if the selected user selected image i'm always say selected user selected image is false which is null i want to 
let's see i want to just returning uh nothing here let's say explanation okay and i'm going to add a if again in here so if the e dot target dot files have a value like so we need to run this set selected image and else i want to set selected image back to null and wait what happened right there back to null and then the set text result back to empty string all right so let's go back to final project and see what we have so let's make it a little bit bigger here and i'm going to upload image let's say article one and we have the preview of this image and then we get the text right here open source like so if i upload again article two and after a couple of seconds we have the text here and of course you can just uh let me screenshot this article here i'm gonna save and let's say article uh, article 3 the article 3 here and if i upload as you can see uh, after a couple seconds we have key last but not least as you can see here really cool now the project is done you can download the code in my description and also thank you so much for watching everyone and see ya